Yeah, yeah don't. Yeah. Just shut it off. <laughs> the first thing you want to do is let's just plot the points to see if we can figure out what our form we're going to want to use. Okay. So I go over two, one, two, up one, two, three. Then I go over two, down three. Okay. So now that tells me what type of hyperbola is it going to have an axis which is vertical or horizontal? Vertical. Vertical, right? Because um, these are my two vertices. They have to lie um, on that axis symmetry. So I'm going to have an axis symmetry that's going to look something like this. Okay. So therefore, I can also determine what the center is now. The center is now at 2 comma 0, right? Because your vertice, your center is in between your two vertices, right, Matt? So I can say here's a vertice, here's a vertice. Center equals 2 comma 0. Okay. Now the one thing... Um, and then also we know it passes through point zero comma five. So since it's a vertical, we know that when it squared equals one all over a squared over b squared. Okay? When it's vertical, all right, it's not so much where your a and your b is for the hyperbolas. But it depends on which one's going to be, um, and which one you're going to be subtracting from. So since it's vertical, our y is going to be, our x is going to be subtracting from our y in the standard form of the equation. Make sense? Yes. Okay, because our y is going to be our, that's our major axis symmetry. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is, I do not know what b is, do I? I have no idea what my b is. I do know my a is because a is your distance from your center to your vertice which is one, two, three. So all I need to do is I just need to figure out, I need to plug on my points and just figure out what um, B is going to be. So I say, pass through the Y minus K, which is zero. So I have Y squared all over three squared, which is nine, minus, um, oops. Now, what can we use? Since it goes to the point zero comma five, uh, we can say, Right? Uh, let me just write here. Let me, let me get through this. X minus H is going to be uh, <clears throat> my H for my center is 2. So I can write X minus 2 squared over B squared equals 1. Okay? Does everybody see what I did for there? I don't I don't know what my B squared is, and right now I have an unknown of an X and a Y. However, they told me it passed through point zero five. I can use that as my x and y coordinates to plug in. So I can write this is going to be 5, and this is going to be 0. So I can use that information now to solve for b squared. So 5 squared is going to give me 25 over 9 minus negative 2 squared, which is going to give me a positive 4, over <coughs> b squared equals 1. Just rewrote the 1 as a 9 over 9, because 9 over 9 is still 1. I just rewrote it so they have the same terms. Right? Now I need to get the b squared off the bottom. So I multiply b squared on both sides. Right? So therefore I have negative 4 equals negative 16 over 9 times b squared. Well, if I want to get rid of this fraction, I multiply by the reciprocal, which would be a negative 9 over 16. So now those cancel out, and I wrote negative 9. Huh? I'm going to multiply by the negative because I don't want my b squared to be negative. I want the negatives to cancel out. Therefore, what I'll have is a positive 9 times 4 
is going to be to give me a positive 36 over 16. Why are you multiplying? I'm multiplying them across. Okay. I had to multiply over here to get them to cancel out so I get B squared by itself. Okay, now, so that's our B squared. So we just need to find our standard form, right? Mm -hmm. So we write um, Y minus our K, which is zero. So it's just gonna be Y squared minus X minus two squared equals one. And then our A, we figured out was nine. And our B, we figured out was 36 over 16. But remember, just like we did the last problem, you can't have you know, your fraction divide fraction, so we'll multiply by 16 over 16, right? Those cancel out. And then I have 16 over 36, which I can uh, divide by four to give me four ninths. Yes? Okay, so I have y squared over nine minus four times x minus two squared over nine equals one. As, 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 since I simplified this, then I reduced that as well. So I get y squared equals divided by nine minus four times x squared minus two squared divided by nine equals one. Okay, all right, so that's it. Yes. Why is there a minus sign by that 25 over nine down there? Why no, is there what? No, go back. No, go back, keep going, keep going, down. Ooh. One more, over, right there. Why is you just showing that you're subtracting. Oh, because I thought it was I thought it was negative. Because it was Mine. like way up there. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I should be more. Sorry. That's it. Whew. Okay.